everybody. I know everybody's busy today and it's hump day and this is Ginger here at Ginger's Ranch Show here in Lakewood, Washington. Uh, sorry about the slight mess. I'm in the process of sorting everything. And um, good news, I passed the initial um, background check and everything. Hey Nancy! How's it going? Anyway, I passed the initial background check for getting my new apartment, and so I'll be moving to Lakewood Meadows, which is down that way, uh, to senior affordable senior apartment, and to two bedroom, and I would have a lot more storage space, and uh, the cats may not like it very well here. Okay, Nancy, on your order. I'm in the process of fixing it, and you should get notification soon. If you don't get notification, let me know, okay? I'm working on it. Apparently, they got a, um, hey, Dorothy, nice seeing you. Hey, Dusty, long time no see. Um, wow, three viewers already. Um, anyway, I'm winging it today. I don't have my ever-present notebook here. I need to get a new notebook. Uh, matter of fact, I don't think I'll use the other new one that I have. Uh, anyway, uh, anyway, keep an eye on it, Nancy, okay? Um, trying to get some things squared away here. Anyway, so you guys, as I said earlier, uh, so you'll know, uh, I passed the initial background check, uh, check on my prospective new apartment over at Lakewood Meadows, the senior, it's a senior apartment complex. And so I'm waiting for final approval. When that happens, I will let you guys know when I will be moving. And so when that happens, I may have to shut down for a little while to do the move and everything, then, then get back up and running for my uh, Ginger's Ranch show. And also, I have been to told by my prospective new manager, apartment manager, I can still keep my business going, my online store going. So I'm going to be making some changes with that as soon as I'm done with Nancy's order. Uh, once her product delivered and everything else, I'm going to drop the one, drop the esters because I'm not very happy with them. So uh, They don't like me using my Shopify directly to uh, fulfill my orders. That's why it keeps getting rejected. I told the answers, I said, it's much easier if I do it through Shopify. So anyway, I'm going to, once that is done, then I will do some changes. Anyway, some interesting things happened today. Uh, he who shall not be named, you know who he is, uh, is in deep doo-doo. As in dragon deep doo doo. Um, Lachita Le 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 James of New York uh, Attorney General has slapped a lawsuit against him for violating all, violating all New York laws as far as like apartments and taxes and everything else. He is never allowed, they shut him down. He is never allowed to do any kind of business in New York again, ever. Um, they're going to hit him hard on taxes on that. Uh, so, after the lawsuit, he's going to lose. We know he's going to lose because he doesn't have any proof of anything. They have the proof, but he has not proved the show that he didn't do it. Well, yeah, he did. Um, so anyway, she's slapping him one, and I heard her comment, her statement this morning, and I was like, wow, 
she's pissed, everybody's pissed, and even I'm pretty sure the state of New York, the people in the state of New York is pissed, and believe me, New York does not play around in cases like this. Um, I mean, I love visiting there. Uh, give New York credit. Uh, I love visiting there. I visit it. I know see him flying around here. Um, I love visiting New York City. <coughs> uh, it's a lot of fun. Uh, did get lost once. <laughs> Uh, so when in doubt, ask for a police officer for help or ask New York City bus driver for help. Know where to go. Uh, those are the two sources because those guys really know their way around the city of New York. And uh, on the other thing, uh, DeSantis... Governor DeSantis of Florida You're right, Nancy. That's very, very correct. Uh, you know, he's in trouble. He, he can't lie his way out of this one. And I love the one comment you put. I think it was you that put it out, Nancy, that Al Capone says, note yourself. Uh, don't lie on your taxes or anything else, they will get you, which is true. Because uh, he was in prison for tax evasion for, what, five years, five, ten years, something like that. Um, so anyway, uh, with DeSantis, he's in trouble with the DOJ for human trafficking. Because he was doing it across the state lines. He took people. DeSantis is from Florida. He's the governor of Florida. And he took migrants out of the state of Texas. And put them in Martha's Vineyard. Which is in Massachusetts. And I'm like, you know, that's human trafficking, buddy. You know. I mean, it's different. It's one thing if you're moving people because of a natural disaster. Well, look what happened when Hurricane Sandy hit. Uh, and what was the other hurricane's name that hit? Hit Louisiana. A lot of people had to leave Louisiana because the storm did so much bad damage and everything. Um, I mean, that's t totally different thing if you have to move. Uh, that's vast numbers of, of people to another safe location, that's one thing. But doing what DeSantis did was wrong. It was human trafficking. And you just don't lie to people. You don't, you know, what is he doing meddling in the state of Texas unless Abbott agreed to it? If Abbott agreed to it, then Abbott should be charged for human trafficking charges as well. Uh, So, uh, we'll see what happens there. And it's sort of funny with this special master. He, he says, he told him, he says, you can't have your cake and eat it too uh, regarding the top secret documents. And he basically turned on Trump. And uh, Trump did not expect this. Um, any of these people don't want to lose their careers over this. And uh, Trump has a hard time understanding how other things work and how the people do their jobs. Well, A, he doesn't want to listen. He thinks he knows it all. Two, uh, he's very arrogant about it. And it's like, you know, he's really an idiot. And you know what? I don't think. Uh, Trump should be allowed to run again, ever. I mean, forever. Never allowed to run for a federal office again. He should not be allowed to run a local office or a small uh, city office. 
console output. You shouldn't be allowed to run for that either. Uh, the only thing Trump should be, he should do is clean out a pigsty or a cow barn or a, dig a, better yet, dig a trench. I don't want him around animals, you know. Um, it's, you know, it's really ridiculous. Um, I'm trying to fix my computer here. Hold on a minute. Oh, I'm going to cooperate. Let me do one thing. Hold on just one second. Let me clean out my cache. So it's running a little smoother. I don't know why the uh, thing is so slow. Let me clean out some stuff. Hold on a second. Just about done here. There. Now it's clean. Now it should run faster. So anyway, uh, that's the other thing. Um, now since the last previous 10 days of Queen Elizabeth II's funeral, really jacks my jaws when people start nitpick on Meghan and Harry and all the other stuff and make up things that I don't think really ever happened. Uh, you know, some of these other media types. And they need to stop hounding Megan. They need to leave her alone. They need to leave Harry alone and let them deal with things. And stop stirring things up between Harry, Megan, and uh, William and Kate. Because William and Kate and Harry and Megan, they were talking. They were sitting next to each other at the funeral. And they were talking, they were helping out. And Harry knows how upset that his niece, Princess uh, Charlotte, was losing her great grandmother, you know, because uh, she was close to her. Uh, so, media needs to step back and just leave them alone. And if the Buckingham Ham Palace puts out a statement, on something and say nothing further will be said but this is what's occurred and this is what's happened then take it at their word for it and leave it alone um i think now the media needs to get their head screwed on correctly and stop causing problems for other people okay i'm talking innocent people i'm not talking i'm not talking about the uh, guilty people like he who shall not be named which he's done which is obvious because it's been documented and same way with DeSantis and uh, oh by the way too the my pillow guys and deep doo doo because the FBI took his <laughs> took his cell phone because uh, they probably discovered he's done some illegal stuff too so um I know there, we have too much rules and regulations in this country on everything. And some of it's put there for a purpose because you have people like he who shall not be named uh, doing dumb, stupid stuff. And it's gotten so bad now that there had to be a law against it or a regulation against it. Um, just a minute, I got to let Loki in. Go eat your lunch. Go eat your lunch. Go eat your lunch. Don't you even think it.
Sorry. Loki swiped my chair. What are you doing? Hmm? What are you doing? Hmm? Loki says hi. Yeah, you're saying hi? Anyway, um, here we go, here we go, Loki says hi, <laughs> oh, you're so funny, um, don't step on the keyboard, please, thank you. Um, so, there's a lot of things that need to be fixed. And there's some law in the books that need to be repealed that no longer fit today's, uh, let's say, how should you put it? But to, today, today's scenario, uh, some of them we need to get rid of. Some of the laws that need to be repealed and get rid of. Um, the other thing is on the taxes. And yes, we kind of taxing ourselves to death. And some of them need, some of the taxes, sure, yeah, it needs to be required. But there's other things that we don't need, ta tax that we don't need. We don't need the B and O tax. Um, I mean, they get enough when you have businesses that, Sell the products to get the sales tax. Some have sales tax, some don't. Depends on the area of the country. Um, and also, uh, well, here's an interesting fact. You probably may not know this. May or may not know this. Um, When World War I broke out, there had to be money raised to, for our army and everything else in our Navy. Our, <coughs> I'm sorry, our armed forces to fight the Germans over in Europe. <coughs> we had no other choice because U boats were attacking our ships. Um. So, a income tax was implemented in 1914. Well, it was promised then. Uh, this is the advent before Social Security and everything. It was promised then that after the war, the income tax will be repealed and nobody wouldn't have to pay taxes. Well, somewhere along the line, we think we know who wanted to keep those income taxes coming in, which... I believe is the GOP. They're the guys that are the, they're the greediest. Uh, anyway, that hasn't happened, and, or never has. It's been over 100 years since this happened. And um, I don't think, um, I don't think income tax is really necessary anymore. I really don't. But I'm sure the corporate should keep on paying income taxes because they're, you know, they use our infrastructure. It's kind of messed up, you know, and it really needs to be fixed. There has to be a think outside of the box type thing is what really should happen. Uh, that's my feelings on it. Um, and as I said, our in this country, our sales taxes in, in around the 50 states is not uniform. There's some that require uh, state ta uh, state sales tax, and some require state income tax and no sales tax. And there's some that just require sales tax only. Here in Washington State. It's sales tax only, no state income tax. Um, 
And then there are some that do require a one, um, like there's a one or two states that do both. And a lot of people are going, uh-uh. <laughs> no, it has to be the one or the other or none. Um, there's better ways of fixing our infrastructure and everything. So anyway, today's been an interesting day, um, and uh, I do hope that they really fight them hard, bite, bite he who shall not be named really hard, and I think now it's time to indict, indict him. I don't care what he says. He's doing all these bully, scary, uh, scary bully tactics, uh, because he doesn't want to be held accountable, and he needs to be held accountable. Um, just as DeSantis needs to be held accountable. And I think that DeSantis needs to be thrown in jail. I don't care if he's governor of Florida. Florida needs a better governor than that uh, to run things. Just as Texas needs a better governor. Uh, the only other governor that I really liked it, that ran Texas was Ann Richards. Now, that lady, she ran a tight ship there. And she would never allow any of this crap going on, okay? She would have, she would have given he who shall not be named the middle finger. Uh, um, so I think now he who shall not be named and his kids need to fess up and pay whatever fines and do some jail time. Okay. So anyway, it's 122. Um, maybe Loki wants to cuddle with Mama. Don't you? So anyway, um, I hope to see you guys on Friday. I'll keep you posted regarding my apartment. And I hope I get final approval. Because I do really need to move out of here. Uh, it's been three weeks since the garbage has been picked up. Unless it's been picked up already. Um, but I have a pretty hunch it hasn't. Because it's been three weeks. Uh, last time it was picked up just prior to... Labor Day, and now I hadn't been picked up here. Um, I'm not very happy about it. Many of my neighbors are not very happy about it. And I've been cleaning things up and sorting and everything, so I hope to get down to a manageable level more than anything. So anyway, I will let you guys go. Hope you enjoy your day, your hump day. I will, Dorothy, you too, and I will keep you guys posted, and, um, tea, it's your turn. <laughs> uh, you know, another thing, too, I really miss, uh, Randy Curvin, Rant and Randy, and, you know, doing his, his rants, and it's a shame that he, uh, had some serious issues, serious problems, and uh, my prayers go out to him, so. Anyway, I will talk to you guys later, and I'll see you on Friday, and I'll keep you, po again, I will keep you posted what's going on. So, anyway, love you.